How's it going? This is Laser Mode and welcome to today's video, guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys all the mythical locations for all the four different animals. And those are gonna actually help you unlock this amazing gear called the Primal Gear Set. Today we're gonna cover why this gear set is important, why you need to pick it up, and why you definitely, definitely need to find all these mystical animals. So if all this sounds like something you're definitely interested in, a like would be greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on all those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. And now let's talk about the mystical animals locations and also the primary gear and how do you unlock it. As you guys may already know, there is a gear set available for you to pick up once you go to your camp and you level up or you unlock the Hunter Lodge. Now, if I go to mine, mine is completely empty due to the fact that I have everything already collected from the Hunter Lodge. But when you guys go ahead and pick one up from the camp, you're going to have a set of armor gear that's going to show up here, which is the primal gear set. Now, in order for you guys to obtain that primal gear set, you're going to need to hunt down all the mythical animals. I'm going to show you guys their locations. And then after that, we will go ahead and talk about why this gear is so important and why you definitely want to pick up this gear. So let's get a quick recap of what we have. So we have the primal mask. It's basically going to allow us to tag nearby animals automatically really important so you'll be able to see them really fast then the primal vest you'll be able to get closer to animals before they attack you so you can kind of sneak up on them and get those headshots then we have improved arrow reserve this is really good because if you're going to be using your bow uh then this is going to be very helpful because you're going to want to make sure you get as much arrows as possible then we have greatly improved movement speed after killing an animal really good if there's multiple animals in the area so you can move and find out the next one and last but not least, the one that's the most important out of this whole armor set is the Primal Bracer. It's going to improve the amount of animal meat you scavenge. Now, this is going to be extremely important due to the fact that if you saw my how to get industrial circuit video, you're going to know how important this is. So now that you know what the armor set you're going to be able to get, let's talk about the animals you're going to be hunting. So there's going to be a total of four locations that you need to go to actually get a total of five different animals. The animals you guys are looking at are for Mamutio, which is a, I like to call him Pumba. Then we also have this one called the Black Demon, Demonico Pellet. Or I don't know if they're going to be, they're trying to go with the Demonic or something, but Demonico Pellet. And then we have the White Variant. So these two are going to be found within the same location. Then we have the Vin, uh, Vienodente Leather, which is going to be a Crocodile. And last but not least, we have the Sanguinario Pellets. Now, this is going to be a big, big, and when I say big, big Jaguar that you're going to kill. So where exactly do you find these? Well, let me go ahead and show you guys on the map, and then we're going to go to each location and kill it so you can see what happens. So the first one, guys, is going to be located in the first island that we spawn in here next to where we uh, kind of, you know, where we left the island. There's going to be a little circular area right down right there. You're going to go to that area, and you're going to meet the hog. And he's actually not that difficult to kill. You can keep your distance, shoot him, and let me show you guys me killing him so you guys can get a better idea of how easy or how difficult this is. It's all going to vary depending on your level, but if you're pretty much high level, you should be able to kill this very easily. That's not a mammoth. Get them! Come back! Shot fired! It was either me or you, Mamu. All right, so now that you killed that one, now it's time to go kill the second one. Now, the second one, guys, we're going to go and hunt down the crocodile. Now, the crocodile is going to be at the Balaceras, which is going to be kind of like in a little kind of like pod. There's a big lake and there's going to be a little pod in there. Now, I want you to be extremely kind of cautious when you go here because it's the Cocodrilo Swamp. This area right here, guys, is infested with crocodiles. But the biggest problem is that this croc, when you shoot him, he's going to throw poison at you. So you don't want to stand next to him. You kind of want to keep your distance. If you're low level, you're probably going to be dying a lot. What I would avoid, stay away from your distance and shoot him. Now, if you guys want to cheese this whole animal hunting thing, you can hop on a chopper, go to each location, shoot him down with a chopper. And that way you don't have to get down and kill him. But if you do get down and kill him, make sure you watch your back on the Cocodrilo Swamps.
siguiente. Or whatever the fuck you were. All right, so now that you kicked the, killed the crocodile, now let's go hunt the wolves. Now, the wolves are going to be on Aguas Linda's location. They're going to be kind of located right next to where there's an anti-aircraft missile location up on a little hill. You're just going to want to make sure you, uh, you're going to fast travel to Hideout Songa and just go ahead and dive and you'll be able to go into the location. Now, like I said, there's a total of two of these and you got to be careful because these auto revive themselves. So you want to make sure that when you knock them down, you put them out, out of their mystery. So they won't get back up and you would have to do it again. All right, so now on to the last one, guys. The last one's going to be located in the Leyendas in El Este. That one's going to be located almost at the end of the map, which is going to be located near the Torreo Beach. Now, this one right here, guys, it's going to be like a little shack or a little fisherman's place. The only caveat to this, guys, is you're going to have to go at night. This doesn't spawn during the day, so it's going to have to be done at night. And you'll be able to identify him because he is a huge, extremely huge. So you're going to be able to go to this location and pick them off right there. What I would suggest guys when doing this, make sure you guys equip any sort of item or artifact that you might have that gives you advantage when killing animals. And you guys should be able to complete this really easy. After you guys get all the skins, all you gotta do is return back to camp, turn all of them in, and you will get your complete primal set and you've killed every mythical animal. So if you guys wanna find out how to get industrial circuits, which are gonna be extremely important to help you modify weapons, make sure you guys check out my video talking about that because you guys are definitely going to want to make sure you get that as frequently as you possibly can. I hope you guys are finding this video helpful and informative. If you are doing the heat for you guys, drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel, turn on all your notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one.